WP Super Cache. You're going to need to speed up your blog. Every time your site queries a database, it slows the process down. This plugin, as well as other plugins, what it does, it saves you time. It converts your posts and pages from uh, PHP to HTML files. Uh, therefore, people can access static pages, and it speeds things up, and it saves you bandwidth. So download and install it, and you'll get an error message. I'll almost guarantee it. And it'll tell you right now, plug in, plug in admin page, you need to set it up. Um, it's the constant added to config. If you see this warning, please see point five of the FAQ. The cache line must be moved up. Well, alrighty then. Here's the interesting thing about this plugin is it will kind of tell you what you're doing wrong and give you a warning message uh, along the way. Okay, first thing I'm going to do, the easy version, I'm going to just turn caching on. Now the update settings. Now, do I have any warning messages? I don't think so. Uh, there's a cache tester. Well, anytime I see a test button, I got to press it. What happened? Um, everything seems okay. Hey, the timestamps on both pages matched. Looks like we're cooking with grease. Delete cached pages. Uh, recommended links and plugins. This will uh, delete stuff that's already cached. I don't think I have anything already cached. And they're suggesting some nice plugins. Hey, thanks so much. But um, what was that error message? I need to move something up. Take a look on the right hand side. Uh, make WordPress faster. This is installation help, frequently asked questions, and uh, support form. Let's just take a look at the advanced. I have that checked. Very nice. Mod rewrite. That's a little tricky. You're probably going to, hey, there's something cool. Expiration time and garbage collection. Hey, when do these garbage collectors come? Usually on Fridays in my neighborhood. 36 seconds. There's a scheduler. I'm going to leave most of this alone until I know more about it. Except, except uh, accepted file names. I, uh, um, done a lot of research. I don't think I need to, uh, mess with any of that stuff right now. But what happens if you get error messages? Nine times out of ten, it will ask you, uh, for access to your site. So a lot of times, you need to use your FTP program and you need to go and change uh, the file attributes. 755 is my content. You may need to go to 777. It'll tell you. It's really good about telling you uh, all kinds of stuff. And the other thing that you're going to need is it's going to ask you to mess around with the .htx access file. Let me see if I can find that for you. It should be just right here. The .ht access file, it's found in public underscore HTML, and that's a very important piece of uh, text. You can change the permissions right-clicking. Uh, mine is at 755, allowing me to write but not let anybody else write. If you use a content distribution network, that's very important. All these other tabs you can play with at your leisure, but WP P super cache speeds up your entire site. Spend some time looking at it. This will tell you the cache pages and um, tell you what to do. Stick with the easy uh, until you need uh, to do anything else. But uh, no more warning messages. So I think I'm in good shape. Those are the settings. WP super cache. Install it, speed up your blog. If you have any error messages, generally speaking, it'll tell you what to do. The error messages usually have something to do with file permissions or adding a little snippet of code to uh, the HT access file. WP Super Cache makes your website super fast. Wow, that's lame. It rhymed. I didn't even mean it, mean to do that, but sometimes it happens.